Welcome back. It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on S3. And it has been a weekend of celebrations for the matriculants who did well in the IEB exams, more so for the top achievers. But today we get to interview the top 1% of the top 1%. I'm talking about Amara Wadi from Kingsmead College who scored 100% in mathematics. She received a distinction in every one of her eight subjects, placing in the top 1% percent of candidates in all of them and achieved over 90 percent in all of them as well. Now then there's also Sazi Bongwe. No doubt you've heard of him or read about him this past week. This young man from St. John's College achieved an average of 95,9 percent with nine distinctions. But what makes this accomplishment particularly special is the fact that he secured a spot in the most prestigious university in the world Harvard. Now we have both of them on the line. Lady and gent, it's so good to have you on Expresso. Good morning. Thank you so much for having Hi. me. <laughs> Listen, I don't think Thank you. I've yeah. ever been in a conversation with probably two of the smartest young individuals that I know. Now, Amara, I'm going to start off with you and Sazi, I would love you to answer this too. But how are you doing given all the attention and the applause you've received from your family and also across the country? I mean, it's overwhelming, but it's also quite rewarding to see hard work pay off. <laughs> um, being in with Sazi, um, we both know how much we put into this and just seeing it come out um, with our family within the country, it's, it's a great feeling. Oh, that's wonderful to hear. And for you, Sazi, how's the attention been? Um, yeah, it's a lot, but I also, I know that it comes from a good place and I'm definitely grateful and appreciative of that. Um, so I'm definitely, I'm glad and especially I know what it means to achieve as a black person in this country. And so for people to to have a stake in that, I mean, I'm, I'm just so glad. I also know that Amara is equally, if not more, deserving of this as, of, of me. So I'm so glad to to be on this call with her as well. You both are incredible, and we're going to continue to shower you with all kinds of attention. Now, Amara, I have to admit, I was quite chuffed with my maths mark, but I can't imagine getting achieving a 97% average with 100% in mathematics. No wonder you were also head girl at school. What valuable insights can you share with us that made you excel academically? Like, I think I just want to pick your brain on how did you do everything? <laughs> um. I think this year was challenging. Uh, metric in general is challenging, but with COVID and the restrictions and limitations, it just made it much more of a challenge. Um, but overall, I think just consistent working and a positive attitude really helped me, like setting goals beforehand. Um, I set my goals at the start of the year and then I worked towards those. And just seeing those played out made it more real for me. And I think that's a valuable lesson that every metric going into metric should have. Not just the trick, I think any person going into their work year to yeah. set themselves some goals and of course find a way to really just achieve them step by step. Amara, thank you for that insight. Now, Sazi, also the head prefect at your school, you've known that you were going to go to Harvard for a while now. What does it feel like to have it all confirmed? Oh, it's great. I just have, I have peace of mind that I haven't had, I think, for many, many years. Um, and I'm just so excited. I mean, it's a new start and a new opportunity for me to immerse myself in a different kind of community. And I can only imagine the kinds of students I'll be surrounded by. I mean, you think of Harvard as pulling in the most exciting and impressive and passionate people from all over the world. So, I mean, that that alone is enough to, to keep me going. And I'm so excited for these seven months before to both prepare, but also do things that are just for joy. Um, so yeah, I, it's the biggest news and, and, and it's done so much for just my, my well-being in general. Well, Sazi, we are looking forward to seeing the pictures. I mean, to go to Boston and Massachusetts is incredible. And of course, you have to take that iconic Harvard on the steps photo and share it with us. I absolutely will. <laughs> That's amazing. Amara, what are your plans for this year? Um, I intend to study medicine at the University of Wits um, here in Joburg. Um, yeah, I, I grew up in a family of doctors, but despite that, I just 
I was inspired by them more than pressured by them in order to follow in their footsteps. Uh, so I'm pretty excited for that. And we're starting quite soon. So that's exciting. <laughs> okay, so you, you don't have much of a holiday left. I think that's so incredible that your family <laughs> has inspired you to also go into the medicine field. And I mean, just looking at everything going on around us, we certainly salute everyone that's currently working on the front line. Now, what I love is that the two of you are also friends and knowing that both of you did so well, how does it make knowing you know what, what's happening now so much more special between the two of you? Um, I think with that, yeah, Sazi and I have worked together from the start of the year. I mean, we both were elected as the head prefect, so that allowed us to network. But then, like, academically, we used to, like, sit on calls and do past papers together, assist each other where needed. And throughout the year, it was nice to have someone with similar work ethic to push me to do as best as I could. And on the days that I didn't feel so good, to inspire me to work harder. Sazi, you can add on that. <laughs> <laughs> when Amara says we have similar work ethic, she means that we were texting each other at 2 a.m. doing past <laughs> Um But no, it, it was absolutely the best. I mean, Amara visualized her goals. She expressed them and she achieved them far beyond what I can say. And I'm so, so glad to have been a part of that. I, I, yeah, it was just as big as I know I've taken so much from her and I, part of that is the metric results. Part of that is so much more. I think it's a really, it's actually a really crazy statement for me to tell you fully that I believe that she deserves everything that she got. So yeah, I'm super proud to be a friend of hers. Oh, well, listen, friends for life, congratulations to the both of you and all of the best going to Harvard, going to go stay in medicine, you. all the best to the both of you. And thank you for taking some time out this morning to hang out with us on Espresso. Thank you so much, so much for having us. us. Well, there we go. A big congratulations to our top percentage students. Now, despite the turmoil, they have come out tops. That's Sazi Bongwe from St. John's College, who achieved an average of 95,9% .9 with nine distinctions and has secured a spot at Harvard University, as well as Amara Wadi from Kingsmead College, who received a distinction in every one of her eight subjects, placing in the top 1% of candidates in all of them and achieved over 90% in all of them as well. Now, we do wish the two of them the very best in their future endeavours and we obviously can't wait to keep up with them.